The mosquito, a small insect that causes huge suffering in some of the world's poorest countries. But it's only the females of the species carrying the malaria parasite which bite and spread the disease. Now scientists at London's Imperial College have perfected a way of genetically modifying those species so only males are bred. The team introduced genetically modified mosquitoes into populations in five cages like this. Now in four of the five cages, the population had actually been wiped out within six generations because of the lack of females. The scientists inserted mosquitoes with an enzyme that cuts the DNA of the female X chromosome during sperm production and the offspring of the so-called transgenic mosquitoes was almost exclusively male. It was quite amazing the first time actually that I saw the actual progeny of this transgenic males and, and I saw me basically no female emerging from that tray. That is, uh, is really satisfying. If the technique can be repeated outside the laboratory, the entire malaria-carrying mosquito population could be decimated. Mosquito nets and sprays, as well as medication, have had an impact, but now drug-resistant parasites and insecticide-resistant mosquitoes are emerging. Worldwide, mortality rates have dropped by 42% since the year 2000, but malaria still kills more than 600,000 people a year. The situation's worst in Africa, where 90% of malaria deaths happen. Most of them are children younger than five. So this technology could bring huge benefits to humans. But what about the impact on the ecosystem of eliminating an entire species? The scientists say there's nothing to fear. There are thousands of mosquito species, are, and only a handful transmit malaria. And uh, about the, the ecological impact, I just want to say the mathematical model predict that probably you will never completely eradicate the population, but you will uh, crash the population size to a point that you block transmission of malaria. This is just one promising area of research. The world could soon have its first malaria vaccine after strong trial results. But this new technique could be a cheaper and more effective way of fighting the disease. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, London.